Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. So what we have in this attention mechanism is what we have in this attention mechanism is let me take this one. We have this attention mechanism and in this attention mechanism what we are doing is the main core concept of attention mechanism is my dynamic context vector. The core concept of attention mechanism is the dynamic context vector. So what we are doing in this dynamic context vector, in this dynamic context vector This is my recurrent neural network which is taking the x1. This is h1. So this is my h1. Then we have the h2. Input is x2. Then we have the x3. And slowly, so this is what we have, that the last we have the xn. And then we are creating the, we, this is my encoder. And this is my decoder. So now, what improvement we did in the encoder-decoder architecture is that instead of creating a context vector for entire for from the entire encoder, let's create a context vector for the each input. This is the main main change in the encoder decoder architecture and which perform the which laid the foundation of the attention mechanism. In this attention mechanism, what we did is in this attention mechanism, like for example, when I am converting this word, I am going to school, I am going and the output is Main ja raha hum. So my question to you is, to generate this output, shall I focus on the entire sentence? Tell me, to generate this output, may, shall I focus on the entire sentence? No, no, I don't. I no, don't just go. Right. So to generate the may, I need to focus only on the I. Great. Similarly, for going, I uh, to ja raha hu, uh, uh, I need to focus on the these two sentences, two words. I is not re not required. So now I think you got the idea that we are trying to we are trying to build a model which can create a dynamic context vector and use this dynamic context vector to release the or to create a output at particular timestamp. For the next generation of the words, there will be a new context vector. So this process will continue for the each output. So what we are doing here is that we are creating a context vector here. I'm using some kind of a machine learning. So what we are doing is we are taking some kind of a uh, uh, this one like a, as a machine learning things. We are using the alpha one, x one, and then we are passing some kind of a sigmoid function, and then we are passing into the some kind of getting some score, and this score is passing as the input to generate the output. So this context score, I will call it as a context vector CV1. I pass this CV1 and input is my I am going to school. Let's take the same input guys. So input is same. I'm going to school and now to generate the sentence for the first output, 
I created a context vector which is the weighted sum of my all inputs and the hidden state. This is not the uh, this is not the your traditional uh, the way that we have created in the my traditional RNN uh, encoder decoder. We are creating a deep learning model which will generate this kind of a score or a context vector and this context vector will pass as an input with the star tag. This star tag will generate a output may. Now this may in is become as an input and now for this second output we are creating a one more context vector. We are creating another one not the one more we are creating a another context vector. For this one we are start creating a one more context vector and again the same process we are using a some kind of a deep learning or some kind of a mathematical part using the alpha 1 alpha 1 x1 some weight pass to the sigmoid getting some score. So again for this C, CV2 which is a context vector 2 we are passing the our input along with the some weight and this context vector will responsible to generate the second value which is the Vidalle. So when we are generating the Vidalle, so my weight will be my weight will be assigned in such a way that weight for weight for the word school will be high and other weights will be low. So the thing is that to generate the Vidalle we need to focus only on the school. So when we are doing this, when we are creating this context vector, this vector will be in such a way that the weight for the school will be high and for the other inputs will be low and we got the output. Similarly, this process continue for the each output and we are generating for the each output, we are generating a context vector and then we are getting the output may with the le ja raha. So this is my attention mechanism. If you see these things, in this attention mechanism, the word attention comes as a dynamic, uh, the word, uh, the word attention comes for the dynamic context vector because to generate a output, to generate a specific word output, we are paying the attention for a for a particular input, not the entire input. So this is your attention mechanisms or you can say that updated version of encoder decoder. So if I show you the things in the PPT which I have, so I have mentioned the same thing with little bit complex uh, screenshot. So if you see these things, Uh, uh, one that I'm talking about. So instead of creating the instead of creating the input for the each instead of creating the a, a, for a, a constant con a context vector, we are creating a dynamic context vector for the each output. So this is my encoder decoder enhance enhancement, or you can call it as a attention mechanism. Thanks for watching the video. For full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.